Welcome to World Congress. Today, August 21st. Hallelujah. The session three or the third session of World Congress for this month. Father, we thank you once again for this session. We ask that your spirit will inspire our heart with your voice and your words in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Today, the theme is Let's Talk. Let's talk. We read three scriptural, scriptural verses and then we we'll share what the Lord will put in our mind this morning. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 to 19. Okay, verse 18. Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And then John chapter 10, verse 27 to 28. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hands. Hallelujah. We are talking about the way that is like an instruction. Let's talk. And who is saying, let's talk? It is God. From all we have read, you see, he said, call unto me. Come now. My sheep hear my voice. He didn't say, I hear the voice of my sheep first. He started with, my sheep hear my voice, and they respond. So you see, the calling and the discussion with God has to start with God and you respond. And that does not mean that you cannot also talk to God. But he said, let's talk. It is a communication. Come now and let us reason together. God is our Father and in Christ he has made us his children. So what manner of love that the Father has bestowed upon us that we might be called sons of God or children of God. In the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12, he says, He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many that received him, to them he gave what? The right, the power, the authority, the privilege to become the children of God that are born by him. So as God's children, God expects us to talk with him. And that is why he tries to communicate with us. Now, the story of the two brothers, one was the prodigal son, and one was the self-righteous son. The prodigal son did what he wants without consulting his father. All he said is, Father, give me. Father, give me. Father, give me. And most of us have believed that when it comes to communicating with God, it's all about telling God, Lord, give me this. Give me that. Give me this. Give me that. You know? You, you cannot disappoint me. I want this. I want that. I want the other one. I want the other one. Sometimes he just gives to you. Or he allows such things to come to you. And then before you know it, you have gone into the realm of prodigal and the realm of waste. Hallelujah. You go into the realm of prodigal and the realm of what? Waste. That the father gave the prodigal son all that he demanded. Did it make him successful or great? Initially, he looked successful. Everything seemed to be going very well. He was enjoying himself. Oh, I've asked my father and he has given me all I want. All I have needed, I hand have provided. He has provided it. And though, so he went into rampage wastage. And eventually, he became, he began to fall into lack. Something happened. The Bible says, and there arose... And there arose a great famine in the land, and he began to be in want. You see, when you have asked and have done your own thing the way you want it, what happens is that that resources and that blessing that God has given to you is subject to the economic situation of the country. So, so even though his father gave him those things, as he went out, 
the economy of the country became bad and he also began to be in want because he had to spend more than he was spending before and before you know it he had become a wretch of a man now look at the order of his brother who is a self-righteous person that one believes he knows what the father will see to be a blessing to him so he continued to labor and labor and labor and hoping that by my principles by the order of things i have put in place god is supposed to do like this because i have done this and done that and done that and done that god have to do like this so that is the scenario of that boy if i do this my father will do this so he was disappointed when the other boy came back to submit to his father and his father began to bless him in a tremendous manner he became jealous why but i have done everything that should have religiously made you to bless me as it will let me tell you that talking to god is a blessing but blessings are not all about give me or material things you need you need material things. say my my my